Yo, what up guys? This is Slow RC Mike here. Um, I don't know how good this video is going to be. I'm not the best at this. So what I'm going to be doing is showing people how to calibrate their iCharger X8 and X6. I have looked on YouTube multiple times and can't find any updated videos about calibrating iChargers at all. There are a lot of old videos from 15, from 2016, I think 17, but me personally, I cannot find anything that's updated on how to calibrate an, an eye charger. So I'm going to show you guys a way I did it, and it's working for me. Um, which the eye charger is pretty accurate, like within this I'm talking this guys this is within 15 to 20 millivolts which is not that big a deal but it does bother me you know what I mean it, it bothers me so and there's gonna be other people out there that bothers them too there's a way you can calibrate it you get it really close and really really accurate first off this is what you're gonna need you're going to need a precision voltage reference this I got on Amazon for 10 to 20 bucks a while ago and I forgot about it. It does two and a half volts, five volts, seven and a half volts, and 10 volts. Reference, precision reference. It tells you the date. This is from 17, I got this about a year ago, so not that bad. It tells you the temperature at which it was calibrated in, which my temperature is about that right now. And it tells you you know, this is a fairly, fairly accurate six, what, what is that, six and a half digit? Probably a bench meter, very, very accurate. It tells you the, you know, per digit of what this was calibrated to. Really, really accurate. Um, this is what I use to use, this is what I'd use to calibrate my digital voltage meter. This is a Unity. Uh, UT61E 2200 count uh, True RMS which is fairly fairly accurate it was within 20 not 20 it was probably maybe 1 to 5 volts off I don't remember I'm trying to remember but I don't remember but anyways now it's spot on you can take this take this voltmeter apart there's a DC and an AC calibrating screw module um, I calibrated mine. As you can see, this is set at five volts. It says, "Hope this video is coming out good." Five volts, five point zero zero one five zero, which this is only gonna this digital multimeter is only gonna read, you know, four and a half digits. Um, as you can see, test it. You know, there is. I do recommend to get some gold-plated um, connectors to put actually in there. But as you can see, it does. I don't know how good you guys see that, but 5.001, 5.001. So it's spot on. This digital multimeter is spot on right now. And you can find these on Amazon, and there's nothing but good reviews. People have actually tested them with high end fluke meters, and they're fairly, fairly accurate. So. I'm going to trust that a little bit better than what the, you know, the eye charger and this is because this was actually off compared to the eye charger was testing lower. So now, but it's not spot on. Um, you can just use a traditional micro micro uh, USB charger, just plugs right in there. This is just a, like a phone charger, plugs right in there, you charge it up, um, turn it on to whatever bolt you're going to sit that, let it sit for, you know, 20 minutes, let it warm up in there and get everything calibrated and warm up to the 25. Celsius and calibrate your meter. So I calibrated my meter to this, my digital voltmeter to, to this, and I calibrated my eye charger to this, to the digital voltmeter. What you want to do is on the toggle switch here, I hope you guys can see this because this video is going to be a waste. Um, on your menu screen, which is your home screen, all you do is just hold down then it's going to pop up all the settings. You have your fan and temperature and your beep, all these different little settings you can, you can geek out on. Um, click on calibrating. Like I mind, you know, the when you get it, it'll say manufacturer default. 
which mine was originally, but now it's on users calibrated because I calibrated it myself. You're going to go down here to other voltage, which this, what you, what, what this is, I'll show you guys. What this is, is calibrating the reference of the power supply, the voltage input, which I had to calibrate mine to. It was a little bit off. Um, yeah, I got all that calibrated. And like I said, everything is calibrated to this because this is calibrated. The digital voltmeter is calibrated to this and the digital voltmeter is calibrated to the eye charger. I think eye charger is calibrated to the voltmeter. You guys get it. But. And then you go up here to, this is all the settings right here for to calibrate each one. I don't technically have an 8S battery. All I have is one cheap 6S that I calibrated it through. But once I get an 8S, you know, eventually later on, I got to calibrate the last two channels, the last two channels, but I just calibrated the 6 for now. You're going to calibrate your output voltage, which is the overall voltage of the 6S. Um, mine was off quite a bit. On the overall voltage, it was off quite a bit. It was like 23.50 or 5.3 or something like that. And reference to this, onto the digital voltmeter, it was reading 23.11. 23.10 like it was bouncing back and forth um, and all I did what I did you can write them down you can take your reference from the battery and write them down but you know you're still gonna have variances I just checked my settings directly off the power these things are really sharp tips so I just get my setting off of the power as you can see it says right there I mean, it's, it's, this thing is so touchy and accurate that I charge it, the setting in there, so it bounces off, you know, but see it's bouncing from, from 10 to 11, so it says 10 on my digital multimeter, so I put it at 10 and it bounces from 10 to 11, which is okay. That's a lot more accurate than what it was, I'll tell you that. And then I did the same thing for individual cell. These tips are so sharp, they're like a needle, so, and these are some aftermarket, um, aftermarket leads too. They're, the top leads I think I paid 50 bucks or not 50 bucks I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks for just the leads because they're true gold plated silicone wire copper wire they're like they're the real deal what professionals use and it made the difference on this voltmeter too but anyways yeah I checked you guys know checked individual each cell enter my numbers this thing goes off of numbers um, what I do recommend you guys do before you guys do this take a picture of the default settings and see to you know to keep your reference to keep your because you're going to make adjustments and you might not like it or you might mess it up or you might get off or you might just you know forget when you're making it or something you're going to have a picture of the reference of the default settings that's what i did so yeah you're going to check individual each cell and then what i did is just hold them in there with my hand you know put the eye charger against this piece of glass so we get a good reading push some prongs in there and then adjust my what you do is you just click on click on that and you just scroll up and down and adjust my voltage accordingly to the digital voltmeter which is calibrated to the precision voltage reference and that's all you guys can do and you do eat individual you sell um, this thing's so accurate that it's gonna jump five to ten numbers before it makes it make the change I what I did is I usually just put it in the middle or put it a little bit on the low side and then uh, go down here to you know, obviously save and mine's already been saved, so I'm just gonna exit out because I made anything. Exit out and then you get back to your main menu. And that's all you do. But yeah, mine was like for instance, my first cell on this battery, it went down a couple volts by now, but it was reading like three point eight seven one. And it was on my digital multimeter after it was calibrated through the reference the voltage reference it, it was reading like five like eight point or uh, three point eight five five or five four i was like damn that's you know that's fairly off to me that was fairly off to me most people you know this eye charger is very very good and very very accurate and very precision from the from the factory but 
if you just, I wouldn't recommend you guys do this if you guys just have a digital voltmeter, don't go off just this. I don't care if you have a fluke, I don't care what you have. You need to go off something more in depth and something more accurate, something that's more precision. You know, maybe this ain't even accurate, but from a hundred reviews of people saying it, and there's some people on there that their YouTube channel is literally based off of voltage and they have some serious stuff like they're really wrapped up in it and a lot of people saying this thing is is the best bang for the buck it's really really accurate it's really really on point for how much it costs and you know for the average consumer which we're i'm the average consumer i mean i could have this voltage meter shipped out to some professional to have them you know get me a real reference and a real you know up to eight and a half digit voltage uh voltage bench meter and all that stuff but you know that's not the big deal i have this which is 10 20 bucks this was 50 60 bucks i had this for a while now i just kept it really nice and it's really really good um you can calibrate it there's you just take off the back right here and there's a on the side right here there's a dc calibrating screw and on the back over here in the corner over here somewhere around here there's an ac which i don't use ac um and that's all you guys got to do this is for the iCharger x8 if you guys have any questions feel free to you know, leave them in the comments and I'll get, I'll respond to them to any information that I know. And if I don't know, I mean, I can maybe guide you somewhere else, but this is going to be the most accurate, especially for us speed run guys, drag racing guys, whatever, you know, we want the batteries are the life of the vehicle. Like, you know I mean? If they're not accurate, if every, if any sells off, that's just how I think any sells off. That's, you know, that's, you're not getting your full potential of anything out of that car. There's some there's some charges out there that are insanely bad. Like especially like I even calibrated my voltage checker. This ISDT, this thing is ridiculously off and horrible. I had to calibrate that. Anything ISDT calibrate it. I'm telling you right now, because it's not accurate and it's not eye charger is the best bang for your buck. If you don't have any of this stuff, just roll with it. it it's still good. But this is just for somebody that's wants to get even more accurate and more in depth. And I just figured I'd make a little video because there's nothing out there for the iCharger X8 and the X6. And I don't think there's, I didn't really notice anything about iCharger. There's, there's a couple old, 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 old videos, but that's pretty much all I noticed. So I just figured I'd make this if anybody out there, um, you know, help anybody else out there that's trying to do this or learn. Because there is a manual on it, how to tell how to do it. You know, but it's kind of hard to learn that manual and read that manual and figure out how to do it. So I'm the type of person that... I learned more on hands-on than reading a, a manual. And I did have to read the manual, but I also emailed Precision RC and got their questions and how they recommended what to do it. And they just recommended an accurate um, four and a half digit digital voltmeter. And I told them what I had and they said, oh, that's even better. He said, you should be fine and you're gonna get it precise and blah, blah, blah. And um, they even told me the same thing. Um, but yeah, this is just a little simple video on how to calibrate the iCharger X8. It's going to be a fairly long video, but I think it's worth it and it'll help somebody out. Um, I don't know if the GoPro is catching everything. I don't even know if the GoPro is even recording right now, but hopefully it is. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess um, if you guys can give me a sub, a like, and a comment, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm trying to get to 200 subs right now. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm at, but I'm close. Yeah. If you guys have any more questions, I got a couple other videos. I'm going to be bringing out my I have a Hellbow VTE. I'm going to be bringing it out. Summer's eventually, summer's pretty much here. It's getting here. It's better weather. Um, I just got to do some couple of minor things and I'll get back on the road. Um, shout out to all my brothers out there and people that's helped me out and stuck by me and has faith in me. And uh, also helped me and gave me a little bit of tips here and there, but pretty much everything I've done myself. And uh, I don't know. It just feels better that way. But all right, guys, um, if you guys give me a like, sub, and a comment, that'd be awesome. Peace out.